Hi, fun fact of the day. There is more than one way to earning money as an artist. When you think about it, every single thing around us is art that was made by someone. From the drawings on the mugs that you see in Walmart to billboards, keychains on someone's bag, and lastly, your favorite animated show. It was all made by an artist who got to enjoy making their craft and earning possible income. Yeah, you don't have to work for free. That is definitely not what you should be doing. Your time is precious. So here is my kind of list of how you can earn money as an artist. Number one, social media. Did you guys knew that YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok pays you to upload your videos? That can be speed paints, art process, animation, and films in general that you have worked on. I have most experience with this one. If you are consistent with your uploads and you are monetized on the said platform, you can actually sustain yourself just from uploading videos. As for Instagram and TikTok, they do offer a program that offers you a bonus for uploading videos. Number two, freelance projects, art commissions, and an industry job. This one speaks for itself. It's the most known option to earn money as an artist, which is self-employment or getting into art or animation industry. But this is mostly a professional route, except for art commissions, since you are free to open them anytime you like. Number three. This one is slightly more difficult to achieve, as this type of income does require a bit of professional route, as it includes planning, organizing, speaking with suppliers. If you do wish to turn your art into a keychain, you will need to go through a process of talking to suppliers and having a little existing budget to make said keychains. But if some of you are planning to sell your own art goods, then actually have a good supplier suggestion. Bograce. They are an amazing supplier for artists, and I had a chance of turning my own art into stickers, keychains. They have also sent me many samples of what you can do with your art. Their catalog is pretty much endless. From enamel pins to acrylic stands, pillows, unique type of keychains that you have never seen before. And the list goes on and on. When you get to work with Vogue Race, you do not go there blindly. They do offer visual guides that you can use when you're creating your art for your keychains. Every single thing is going to be listed for you to use so you don't get lost. The entire page here shows every single thing you need to create your own Krill keychain. As you can see, you'll be met with many custom options on the right side of the page. From double side printing to sizing, and accessories. If you scroll a bit lower, you'll be met with a very clear guideline on how to order and how to properly create an acrylic keychain. Also, don't forget that Bograce also offers discounts on the quantity you order. In general, they're holding monthly and holiday discounts that you can get your acrylics made with a heavy discount. So you are pretty much saving a lot of money if you're working with Bograce. Oh, and this one is kind of cool, but Bograce recently introduced the whole Artist Alley pack set. So if you need to set up your own table at the Artist Alley, you pretty much can get every single thing from Bograce. If in the near future you do have something planned for your own Artist Alley table or an Etsy store, most definitely check out Bograce. They really have cool and quality stuff going on. I'll be linking their website so that you can find their catalog in the description of this video. Number four. I call this one, I don't want to sell physical products or invest money into it, but I still want to create designs for my own shirts. And that's when Redbubble Tee Public comes into play. This one is very simple. You just make a design and upload it on Redbubble and wait until someone buys it and you collect your artist margin. Of course, the only issue is the low artist margin. But then again, they also do the printing, shipping, and the whole material thing for you. But I guess it's a fun and easy side thing you can do as an artist. Number five, art licensing. The option that nobody has heard before, including me. <laughs> Have you ever been to the store and you saw a mug, shirt, or anything that has art or texture design on it? Well, it was made by an artist. 
you in fact can license your art to big companies that will pay you for each sold item that they use your art on. But companies also pay a license fee that might last a year or so. I am honestly kind of shocked that no one speaks about art licensing because I've always wondered how companies got their art designs printed on their products. I really had no idea back then. But now it's kind of clear that major companies just license your art and you get the coin from it as well. Of course, there are so many ways to earn as an artist. What I have listed today is clearly not everything. But I threw my two cents into this topic to give a better insight. I would also suggest doing more research on these topics if one of them interests you. Google is your friend. <laughs>